Humans of Planet Earth. Welcome back to GRE in an Today we have a pretty cool interview with Christopher Dunn. We're gonna find out if the pyramids were actually an energy energy plant or energy source. It seems like, uh, of course, there's not a lot of evidence yet. It seems like it was designed that way. I mean, it makes no sense. But first, before we start, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell so you can get all the notifications. It's about 20 to 48 hours normally after the JRE's release. I am here telling you what happened, timestamps, my opinion sometimes, if if it's worth it and if I know anything about what they do. <laughs> so sometimes I'm just listening. Like this interview is a good a good uh, example. It's fucking you listen, you listen to it and you're like, wow. I'm so stupid, <laughs> but yeah, let's, I'll tell you what you know, maybe you know more than me and you'll find it interesting, I found it interesting, that's what I can tell you, so we are in all of these social media, don't forget to follow and share, cool, so Christopher Dunn, uh, let's see if we can try this, let's see how it looks, alright, so the pyramids, were the pyramids uh, energy plant, power plant, the Giza power plant is uh, the name of his book, and it's very obvious what he's trying to propose and it's also not very surprising that the uh, big academia or big ar archaeology or whatever they want to call it basically the the archaeologists of the government or the academic ones of course they are insulting him and calling him stupid and doing fake fake experiments just to prove him wrong even though they really don't cannot prove him wrong in some things so it's very sad how these these people from from the state or from deep state or whatever this this group of people however you want to call them is very sad how they would prefer to win than to progress it's completely the opposite of what science should be about right the science should be about who finds new things and who's right and actually a proper scientist would be happy to get his theory proven wrong as long as something new is discovered. I mean, that's how I see it. Yeah, it sucks that all of your work goes to shit. But dude, you did your best and somebody found something fucking cool. Now, you know, we know more. I don't know, that's how I see it. Maybe it just I'm, ho I'm just a hopeless romantic. Who the fuck knows? So, of course, I don't know much about the subject. So in this case, I was mostly listening and just trying to understand at my biggest capability even though 1.6 is pretty nice because they both the guy speaks super slow super super slow he's also quite funny and yeah it's uh, it's easy to to speed it up but the top the subject is not easy to understand in itself so if you like this kind of ancient civilization kind of interviews you're gonna love it uh, but be ready be ready stay focused don't, don't listen to this while working or driving or working out. You have to fucking pay attention. There's a lot of images also. It's not only an episode to listen. You should also watch it. And yeah, they start talking about drilling and the perfection of the holes that they made. <laughs> Apparently with rocks, this is what they teach, you know, in, in, in academia. That's why they, they say that they did, that it was rock against rock fucking talk 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 a million times the slaves doing it give me a fucking break dude it makes no sense and of course he explains which there's no way that i can repeat here something about hydrogen and and wavelengths and fucking I don't know, sound waves these people are way too smart for me so all that I can say is that it's kind of convincing. Also, Cat Williams spoke about this. He said that the pyramids were an energy plan a couple months ago. So here it is, this guy kind of confirming it, even though he even though he cannot confirm it himself, obviously. So, yeah. And at some point, they speak about something called the Marfa lights. Never heard about this. Apparently, some lights uh, effect some natural things that happen with lights there in Sedona. Google it, man. I, I tried to find some cool, cooler picture that shows the actual lights, but the lights are so weird, you don't even see properly in the pictures. So, yeah, Google it if you want to know. I never heard about this. Happens in the US. And, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Um, you're going to have to listen to the episode yourself because I'm not even going to try to explain what this guy explained. There's no way 
that I would pff, impossible. It's just too fucking deep and still pretty interesting. That doesn't mean that I didn't like it. I would definitely give it four nuts. It's um, it's interesting, man. It's uh, of course the let, let, the conclusion, let, let's go to my two cents. I wasn't planning on doing this, but now spontaneous. Oh, shit. Oh, that kind of blends in. Let's take away this Egypt thing. So, this is the only thing that we do know. Or at least, I guess that it can be confirmed by now, even though it's not. But we definitely know that it's not a tomb. It's not uh, fucking two and a half million rocks or something like this number ridiculous. Just because that guy died. And we're building this as a, as an homage to the pharaoh Ramses or whoever the fuck to Tancamon. I don't know. Uh, this is definitely not. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not a fucking tomb. This is not a cemetery. It was not built to honor the fucking pharaoh or something. Then that's the official story, but it starts to sound less and less and less true and less and less logical with time to be honest also as we grow up and kind of stop being innocent uh, yeah so yeah that's my two cents and that's everything for me for now uh, yeah I remind you that I have nothing to do with Joe Rogan or the Joe Rogan experience and all of the topics are downstairs the links to this guy's website and whatever all of that stuff if you're really interested really listen to this and yeah, you'll probably want to do deeper research because this this is a deep hole, that, that, deep, that deep rabbit hole that we can go into. Um, all right, man. So that's it for me for, for now. And I will see you next time. Peace.